If you have to do a science project this year but don't know where to start, then this video is for you. Let's start with what a science fair project is not. It is not an arts and craft project. It is not a demonstration or a model. It is also not a written report on a topic like tornadoes. While all these are cool and interesting, it isn't really classified as a science fair project. A science fair project is an experiment that you conduct at home. It can be as simple or as complicated as you want to make it, but it must have the following two components. A variable that gets changed and results that you can measure. For this video, I'm going to walk you through a simple science fair experiment with easy to obtain materials. The first step is to come up with a question you want answered, like which one of these cups keeps drinks colder? If you can't think of an idea, there are a lot of ideas on the internet and I have several listed in a document which I will link in the description. Today's experiment came to me while watching a video on YouTube how combining vinegar and baking soda can be used to blow up a balloon. As I was watching it, I was wondering if you get the same results with different types of vinegar. So I'm going to do an experiment to test it out. I have the two components of a science fair project, a variable I'm going to change, which are the different types of vinegar, and the results I'm going to measure. In this case, I'm going to measure how big this balloon gets. I did some simple research and found that when you mix baking soda and vinegar, you get a gas called carbon dioxide, which causes the balloon to blow up. My hypothesis is that by changing the type of vinegar, you will get a change in the amount of gas produced. In this case, I think that I will have less gas produced since these vinegars I'll be using are mixed with other ingredients. My control variable is the plain white vinegar. I'm going to be comparing how the other vinegars react against our first trial with this plain white vinegar. One important thing to note when conducting a science project is that you must write everything down in a lab journal. It doesn't have to be expensive. I bought this one for 25 cents at the dollar store. So inside, I've written my question and hypothesis. I also noted my materials and how I'm going to conduct the experiment. I'll include my balloon measurements as I conduct each trial. The idea is that anyone can duplicate my experiment with the information I've written down. I can also use this information to put together my science fair board. These are the materials you are going to need. I filled up a normal water bottle halfway with white vinegar and I'm going to add two tablespoons of baking soda to a balloon I've stretched out and I'm going to use this paper funnel. Alright, so now I have baking soda inside this balloon so I'm going to stretch it out and put it over the lid of the balloon. I'm careful not to put the baking soda in. So at this point now I'm going to gently dump the baking soda in and it should expand the balloon out. I'm going to hold it down just in case. I don't want it to go flying off, so let's give it a shot. We're going to wait for the baking soda to settle. So once you see it settle back down, now I'm going to conduct a measurement of the balloon. All right, now I've taken my balloon and I've measured it, so I'm going to write down my measurement. And we're going to do the exact same thing with the three other types of vinegar. All right, so now I have the red wine vinegar, so we're going to compare that to... Now we are on to the apple cider, cider vinegar. All right, this is my last trial. This is the balsamic vinegar. This is my third trial with this. Two of the balloons have sprung a leak. So I've got some paper towels here and we're gonna try it on a third balloon. our experiment. 
Um, I have lined up the vinegar according to the results, and oddly enough, I thought the distilled white vinegar would have the best results because it didn't have any other added ingredients, when it turned out that the balsamic vinegar had the best results. So I believe the balloon on this one was 23 and a quarter inch, and this was 24 and a half inches, with the other ones falling in between. So this is a very easy science fair project to do. All I need to do is write up the results and the conclusion in my lab book. And it doesn't matter if it didn't meet my hypothesis. It was an interesting experiment and now it makes me wonder what's in here that created more gas than the rest of them. And I can do some research on my own for that. Another variation you could possibly do on this experiment is you can see if temperature affects the gas that is produced. So a friend of mine was wondering if this white vinegar was chilled versus warmed versus room temperature would affect the amount of gas created. So there are definitely variations one could do on this experiment. So as a reminder, write everything down in your lab book. Once you have it here, somebody can duplicate it and you can make a pretty awesome science fair board to turn in to your school.